Hey audience, how's it going? And welcome back to another WoW video. Today I'm going to be showing you World of Warcraft Rat of the Lynch King add-ons that I've been using since I started playing WoW about a month ago. These add-ons have helped me get a fun into the world, show me how to make gold, and basically just showed me how to be a better player in general. I will have all of these add-ons linked down below in the description, so do check it out if you want to download them. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first add-on that we're going to be talking about is Rested XP. Now, Rested XP is a paid add-on. You need to pay to use it, but there is a free version. So if you go into CurseForge and you just type in Rested XP, you will see it pop up. Now, once you have it installed, you will see this bar over on the left side of your screen. If you right click onto it, you will see available guides, unused guides, which basically is the community making their own guides for it. Now, this is very helpful if you're a new player because it basically shows you where to go to get XP. It's a very nice add-on and I would highly recommend it if you're a new player. But the thing about this is that there is also a gold assistant mode. So if you press on the uh, activate the gold assistant mode, it then turns into a gold border. And then you can literally pick anything. So let's say I wanted to find out how to do mining or stuff like that. I would come down to the profession leveling, go into the mining, and then it would have one to 375 for the alliance. Now, if you're on the horde side, it will have one to 375 for the horde but if i click on this right now it then it tells me exactly where i need to go to do my mining this works with herbalism as well and it also works for skinning so you can do it for a lot of professions it's very useful and i would highly recommend it this add-on it will help you get what you need done very quickly help you level up your professions and help you level up in general so the next add-on that i have is questy now questy is a very good add-on because this game is like you know old school mmorpg where you uh, go around and you have to read the text to actually find out where the quest is but questy actually shows you where it is on the map so for example i have a bunch of these quests over in the corner these are all available because of questy but if i press m on my keyboard that brings up the map it shows me exactly where i need to go to do with these quests so if i want to get the tears i have to go over to here it also shows me all available quest in this area now if you go into the actual quest the uh, menu you will also see all of this stuff here so it shows you where the meeting stones are the weapon masters the auctioneer it basically shows you where everything is in the game that the game itself doesn't show you so it's very useful and i would highly recommend this add-on if you're a new player this add-on is actually going to help you out a ton so i would highly recommend it so the next add-on that i'm going to be talking about is bagnon now this one is very useful because without this add-on if you were to go into any of your bags it would only display the amount of slots in that bag so if you clicked on my woolen bag here it has eight slots and it would show uh, just show the eight slots in that bag but with this mod if you go into one bag it will show you all your bags so all of your items is just right in front of you this is a very helpful mod because it's so frustrating going from bag to bag looking for certain items where if you just have this add-on all your bags are displayed right in front of you so i would recommend this if you're a new player but even at that if you're a returning player i would also recommend it it's so useful and it does help out a ton when it comes to looking for certain items in your bags so the next add-on i'm going to be talking about is dominoes now you will see that my ui right in front of me is different to yours this is because of dominoes so basically i can put these abilities anywhere on my screen so i can put it up there if i want i can put it down there i can also put over into the corner so basically dominoes lets you customize your whole screen in a way that the game won't let you do so basically all you have to do is click on the dominoes tab and you will be met with this screen right here now it is a grid screen which is so nice because then you'll be able to be very precise with the way you have your own ui so you can see that my action bar 10 is down in the bottom left of the screen it's usually right in the middle but i put it down in the bottom left because i'm using it as a professions bar and of course i don't want all my professions clogging up my screen right in the middle so i just threw it down in the bottom now the thing is you don't have to do it the way i did it you can do it the way you want this so if you want your bars up on the top left top right 
bottom right it's up to you you can also pick up the xp bar and put it wherever you want this mod is so good and i would highly recommend it if you want a nice clean ui in classic wow now the next add-on that we're going to be talking about is atlas loot so basically if you go into the atlas loot tab you will be met with the screen so i'm just going to show you how this actually works because i was a little confused at the very start but once i actually noticed how to get it to work it was very helpful so basically when you get on the screen you're just met with like you know a lot of buttons so basically what you would do is that you would click on the world of warcraft thing there and then you will be able to pick the expansion now i have it on the classic mode where i'll be able to go into the categories of dungeons and there is every classic dungeon that i can click on so for example let's go to dead mines so if i click on dead mines right now i have the gear set up in a way that it shows me warrior gear so if i want to switch that i'd right click on it to switch to class and then i can pick any of the other ones so if you want to see mage items you can go into mage and then you can pick on the boss that drops the item so you can see ragzor there does not drop any mage items but if i go down to a minor johnson you can see that there's a cape that uh mage could have if i go on to sneed you can see that there's a cloth hands that i could have so it's just stuff like that and it just works for every class as well so you can see that sneed has a 200 axe for a warrior so it's just very useful to have and it's very nice to use so if i want to switch to the burner crusade for example there you can see all of the burner crusade dungeons so if you click on one of them you can see that there's um, a plate hands for the warrior that um you know you would use and it basically just shows you where to grind out certain items for your characters. It's very useful and I would highly recommend you download it if you're new to the game. Just so you know where to go and what to grind out. And the next add-on that we use is going to be details. Now details is a little more, you know, advanced to use. You can see like right here, right now. This is very confusing. You're, it's just thrown in at you. And there's just a lot of stuff on your screen now, uh, right now. But basically what you will have to do is that when you load the details mod up. You will be met with this little bar down in the right hand of my corner. And basically all you have to do is go into it. And you will be able to select what you want to see. So if you want to see damage, you can see like, you know, what damage is done. What healing is done. Mana restored. Basically, ev everything that you need is right here, right in front of you. I wouldn't recommend going into the big, like, you know, options because that is just too confusing. But if you just go over to the bar, right click onto it. Everything that you want to use is just right in front of you. So if you want to see how much damage is being done in a dungeon or a raid, put it onto the damage done and you will be able able to see everybody's numbers including your own so it's very nice to have if you just want to see if you're performing the way you want to be performing so the next add-on that i'm going to be talking about is qe nameplace or kui nameplace whichever way you say it but basically what this add-on does is that it just changes the nameplates on enemies and friendly targets so basically if i go up to this target right here you will see that it's a thistle lasher but on my screen it's very pixelated like it's a very small rating but with the qe nameplate if i turn it on you will see that it does get bigger and it also tells me what type of enemy that we're coming up against so it's yellow right there which means that it is a passive enemy and it won't attack me when i'm around its radius but if i come over to this location you can see that this enemy we can already see that it's red but the qe nameplates isn't above it at the moment but the closer i get the more you get to see it just gives it more of a health bar as well which is also nice so you know how much health the enemies have so it's a very nice add-on to have and i would recommend it if you're looking for a cleaner ui experience and the last add-on that we're going to be talking about is weak auras now i do have weak auras paired with omni cc and i will get into what omni cc is but we're just going to talk about weak auras for now so basically weak auras lets you put timers up on your screen so if you go into the weak auras tab you will be able to make auras so if you go into new aura pre-made auras you will be met with all these templates if you go into progress bar which is the one that i use you'll be able to have a progress bar countdown so all you have to do is go into the ability that you want it on so i'm going to use thunderclap which i already have made so all you have to do is click on thunderclap and basically pick a template here so i use basic show on cooldown which basically puts up a 
timer on my screen so I know when I'm able to use it again. So all you have to do is make it. And once you have it made, if you use Thunderclap, it then shows the timer in the middle of your screen. Now you can move that to wherever you want, but basically it just showed a cooldown timer and I'm able to use it when the, the timer is off my screen. It's just very nice to have and it's very good, especially when you're finding a bunch of enemies on the screen and you're not really paying attention to your cooldowns. Now you might be asking, what is Omni CC? So I'm gonna use this enemy right over here for Omni CC. But basically, Omni CC is for, let's say, damage over times or heals or anything like that. So I just used my attack there, and I'm using Rend, which is a damage over time. And it basically puts the debuff above the character, so I know how long that debuff is going to be on at this enemy. So it's up for 15 seconds, and when the enemy dies, it then disappears. So if I used it on this enemy as well, and I just use Rend, it then comes back up on this enemy. So it's just nice to have to see what enemies have damage over times on and when to reapply them so guys if you liked what you saw and you found the video very helpful like comment and subscribe and i'll see you for the next video thank you and goodbye